Welcome in Taurus, welcome into my new subscribers also. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, feel absolutely free to do so. Before we get started on your reading, Taurus, I'd like to invite you to follow me on my Instagram page. You can see what products and services I have available. And I also do a live every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Various topics using tarot as guidance. Um, so yes, yeah, quite interesting. You should join me there for those of you that are social media friendly. Um, yes. Also, in the description below, you will find links and information of how to book a personal reading with me. Taurus, we shall start your reading. Your first card is the lovers. Then we have the page of wands, nine of pentacles, two of pentacles, the hermit and the six of pentacles. So Taurus, um, yes, the lovers. That's your first card, uh, Gemini energy there. So could very well be connecting with a Gemini, don't have to be. But um, <clears throat> a very strong bond. A very strong, even sexual connection. Lots of sexual energy today. I want to say that because we have two naked people here. Okay, uh, Taurus. And they're standing in front of like an angel. But they're not holding hands. So it's almost as if they are being told that, okay, yeah, close, but not. Almost doesn't count. That kind of energy. It's not that one. Okay. Page of Wands. Usually uh, the player card. Very much a passionate card. As I said, uh, quite the... Uh, lots of passion shared between these two people here. Whoever you are connecting with. And, and even if this is not that you are being intimate, that's the uh, energy you share between one another. So very well could be like a sexual energy for some. OK, nine of pentacles, the single person, definitely. Um, perhaps you are single Taurus or perhaps your person. <clears throat> perhaps your person comes across as a single person. Somebody's really abundant here. And perhaps money is is what pulled somebody into the situation. Perhaps money is what ke is keeping somebody in this situation. Yeah. Two of Pentacles, juggling, juggling. There's more than one person involved in this situation. I feel like you're seeing something here, Taurus. Okay. We've got the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> Can't even get the card. We've got the two of pentacles, which is juggling. Not sure what to do. Indecisive. Yeah. And then we have the hermit. This is going within energy um, more than likely. I feel more so going within, but being being at home and still being aware of, you know, what, what's happening around you. OK, perhaps this is you. That's the single person that's picked up on this juggling energy from your person or them. You Taurus, six of pentacles is definitely somebody given to two here. OK, so someone's given to two. And as I said, this situation more than likely involves money here. Perhaps you're giving someone money and they're giving it to somebody else. And that's what you're you're just becoming aware of now. Oh, let's have a look, shall we, Taurus? Thinking of the right question here. Um, what's been juggled? <laughs> Money. Seven of Pentacles. What's been juggled here, Taurus? What's this given to two and everything? We have the three of Pentacles. Yes. So, as I said, something to do with um, money, coins. Yep. Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, Seven of Pentacles. This is um this is looking back. Time spent, investments made, more than likely money you have given or them given to you here. Three of pen pentacles, communication, planning. It's it's like looking back at all of these plans. You can't, they can't be changed now. They can't be changed now, but mm, it's looking back at them. It's almost, it's, it's too late to second guess. This is, oh dear, guys. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. It's like, 
The Knight of Pentacles uses logic here and goes very slow. So that he, you know, so that they don't miss anything. And I think that's that's a lesson you have learned. So that's what you're doing now based off of what you have been seeing or something that you have seen. Whatever you've seen here, Taurus, has caused you to look back. Yeah, to look back at your, your coins, something to do with money here. I'm not quite sure. I might have had this reading for you last week. Something to do with money. Let's have a look. Let's read on. Let's see what's happening in Taurus. May need to seek advice. I just saw the hierophant there. Page of Swords. So you're seeing the truth. Spying. Absolutely. Spying. <laughs> Nine of Cups. A wish. Smug energy even. That could very well be. Mm. This could be someone you live with. Taurus. The world. This could be someone you live with because you're watching them. But you're watching them very, very closely. It's like you're close to this person. You're watching them very, very close. Um, more so, this is you being smug then. More than it being a wish, it's like this smug energy because you know what you're going to do. You've seen the truth. Yeah. So I can know what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to watch. and you, So I'm going to watch and you watch. Yeah, because it's like you're off. It's like this new cycle, brand new, brand new. And this is it here. This is the plans, you know. It's like you're looking back, second guessing. It's too late to second guess. What are you going to do now kind of energy? So I said, okay, I'm going to take my time. Knight of Pentacles, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to plan this properly, okay. You've seen the truth. You've seen whatever you need to do. As I said, you're watching this person very, very closely. You don't want them to ruin your plans and Taurus please do apply this to your situation because I could be reading this um in the reverse uh for some of you <clears throat> you've seen enough okay so it's like you're just sitting back watching them continue to do what they're doing but you've made plans you're moving on you're moving into this new cycle the world card yeah it's like breaking out of the old and going into the new it's like a complete new beginning a whole new cycle Mm. Let's go in for the outcome here, Taurus. What's the outcome? And for the situation, there we are. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Earth energy, grounded energy. King of Pentacles. He's always stable, isn't he? Five of Swords, so feeling a little bit defeated. And this is the outcome here. Feeling defeated because you've had to leave. Something that you just one more card, please. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. As I said, you've had to leave something behind, something that you mm, possibly didn't really want to. I don't think it's the last you've heard from this person, but you're taking what you can, what you're, whatever's left for you, and moving on. Um, <clears throat> although this has happened, I don't feel as though you are left too much without. You still have enough <clears throat> to go in this new beginning. You still have enough logic. You still have enough um, charisma, whatever it is, enough energy to rebuild what had been taken, if that's the case here. Okay, Taurus, but definitely feeling slightly defeated. This is the outcome here. As I said, feeling slightly defeated and left out in the cold. More so leaving somebody out in the cold. Let's go in with your oracle cards here, Taurus. Let's see what the oracle has to say. See advice for Taurus today. Oh, wow. And that just flew out straight away. A time to say goodbye. Something is about to end for now. As I said, I don't think it's going to, you've heard the last from the situation or person. But for now, it's going to end. Alice in a seat of tears, cast away, out of your debt, feeling abandoned. Absolutely, as I said, feeling defeated, abandoned. There you go. Speaks for itself. Absolutely. I love it when Tarot does that. Um, <laughs> Taurus, that has been your reading. Uh, for those of you that haven't subscribed, feel absolutely free to do so. Um, as always, take what resonates, leave whatever doesn't, and do not force anything to fit with your situation, guys. Um, yes, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and take care. Until next time.